Here is some advice I would give to my younger self when I was learning to code. Annyeonghaseo, Jimnika. Nicolas, in your and as you may or may not know, I have been programming since I was a kid. More than 15 years ago, I taught myself how to code because I wanted to hack into computers. I never wanted to be a developer. I just wanted to learn how to break into things. And today I am a full stack developer that has made a lot of mistakes. I spent time learning some things that have proven useless to my career today because I didn't know myself well enough. And I also wish I learned other things sooner, things that I overlooked, but that are very important for a career in software development. And to start, here are the two most important things I will tell to my younger self. Number one, time is your most valuable asset. And number two, you need to know yourself. I personally define wealth not as how much money you have in your bank account, but as how much time you have. You can be the CEO of a company and own a million cars and apartments, but if you don't have the time to sit with your wife or with your friends, then you are poor in my eyes. No one can buy more time. The clock ticks for everyone, whether you are Musk or Bezos. Knowing yourself will save you time and it will put you closer to your goal. And knowing yourself will make the learning process better because you will realize that you don't have to learn everything there is to learn if you know where you're going. For example, if you know you want to make video games and that is your passion, then you're going to avoid JavaScript and go full on C++ and a real engine. Or if you like iOS and Apple and you want to make beautiful applications for the iPhone, then you're going to go straight to Swift. Or if you want to build products, you want to make your own startup, then you're going to have to learn JavaScript and any other backend language that you like. Or if you believe that blockchain and Web3 is the future, like I do, then you're going to go full on and learn Rust, Go and Solidity. There are a lot of languages, a lot of courses and books. You need to be selective. You need to know what to learn, but also what not to learn. I did not know myself, so I spent time learning a wide array of topics, which made my progress slow. There are so many areas in software development that it's impossible to learn them all. But of course, most people don't know themselves. And if you are like me and see all those options, maybe a website, a video game, or an iOS application, they all excite you. So what to do? What language to start with? For beginners, I think there are two options. On one hand, there is Python, and on the other one, there's JavaScript. And depending on what kind of person you are, one is better than the other. If you are a visual person, if you like to build interactive things, maybe websites, maybe apps, even video games, things that people can click on, basically user-facing products, then I would go for JavaScript. Or if you are amazed by AI, automation, trading bots, data mining, then Python is your friend. Python is especially easy for beginners because the syntax is very easy to write and understand. But having said this, I wish JavaScript was the first programming language I learned because it allows me to build so many user-facing products from websites to apps, backends, and video games. By the way, I made two free JavaScript and Python courses that you can take right now by clicking on the link below. Another thing that I wish I did sooner was to specialize in one programming language. It doesn't really matter what language it is, but choosing one programming language that you like and trying to learn it really well, going deep and mastering it is better than knowing many languages shallowly. Buy books on the language, read the best practices on that language, engage with the community of the language and even go to a couple of conferences. It doesn't really matter what language it is because after you master one language, moving to another language will be super easy. At the end, most programming languages are very similar. But it's important to be a specialist on something. Hopefully you choose a language that has a high demand on the industry you choose to work with. Another thing that I wish I did sooner was to study the boring stuff like data structures and algorithms. This is something that many self-thought developers lack. And that is because it's like doing legwork at the gym. Men skip leg day because it sucks and they prefer doing biceps instead. When learning to code, it's easy to focus on learning the flashy parts and avoid the legwork. It's more fun to follow a tutorial that shows you how to make real-time video games rather than reading a book to understand the time and space complexity of different sorting algorithms. Data structures and algorithms are what takes you to the next level. They are what allows you to optimize your applications when things don't run as fast as they should. They are also what allows you to write clean and organized code. Now, having said this, I am glad I didn't learn data structures and algorithms too early when I was learning to code. When you're starting, learning the theory might be frustrating and boring. And since you haven't built anything yet, 
you might have a hard time understanding where are you going to apply all these concepts that you're learning. Because of this, if you are a beginner, focus on making things first. If you can make a product with a front-end, back-end, database, user authentication, and you can deploy that product to a server on AWS, then it's time to learn data structures and algorithms. Not too early, but not too late. Another thing I wish I learned sooner was SQL. At some point in time, even if you're using an amazing framework that hides it from you, you are going to need to talk to a database directly. And chances are that it will be an SQL database. SQL is very easy to learn. It's not that fun, but it's very, very useful. You also don't need to learn a ton of it. I think that in two Sunday afternoons, you can learn as much SQL as you need to survive. Outside of programming languages, learn to become productive in your text editor. I don't care what it is. I personally use Visual Studio Code because I think it's amazing, but no matter what you're using, spend some time customizing it and becoming more productive on it. I don't mean changing the colors or icons. I mean learning the keyboard shortcuts and the extensions that will make you more productive and save you time. And last but not least, kill your ego. Especially as you gain experience, ego is the enemy. Ego will stop you from growing. Ego will fool you and tell you that you know enough, that there is nothing else to learn and that you are at the top. If you want to be a good developer, a good programmer, you have to always stay a student. You should be always humble enough to ask questions. You need to know that there is always something that you can learn. You need to know that anyone can teach you something and you must remember how once you also were a beginner as well. You need to be able to adapt to constant change. Ask the people that used to be masters at Flash and ActionScript or the ones that used to use Dreamweaver to build their websites. It's adapt or die. But please don't become the senior developer that refuses to learn something new because it means learning from somebody younger than them. This is some of the advice I would like to give to my younger self and I hope that you find it useful in your journey as well. I also made a roadmap of the specific programming languages and frameworks I would learn and in which order. So if you're interested on a video like that, then please leave a like and subscribe and we're gonna make it happen. Now let me know in the comments, what advice would you give to your younger self? Related to programming or not, I'm very curious. It doesn't matter. Just let me know in the comments. I'm going to be looking at them right now. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget if you want to learn to code and you want to do it for free, click the link below and I will see you there. Stay free, stay happy. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.